their journey began nearly one month ago. A small group of protesters taking their message from their homes in Stanley Mission right to the Prime Minister's doorstep. It's not just for us, it's for Canada, it's for the whole nations and that we want to do it for, for the future generations and for the young ones. We're walking for our future generations. Our, our Churchill River where I'm from is no longer protected so I am doing it not just for myself but the, the whole Canadian population. They plan to trek the 3,400 kilometres to Ottawa, hoping the government will resend Bill C-45 until it has consulted with the native leaders, one of the key demands of the Idle No More movement. By the time they reached Yorkton on Sunday, they travelled some 690 kilometres, with plenty of distance still to travel. Their determination grows, as does the support they've reached along the way. We have had a lot of people that have given us a place to stay. Their kindness and their generosity, it's overwhelming and it's an awesome feeling to have people to greet us and to acknowledge and help in any way they can. The group hopes people will recognize this walk, as they say they're simply standing up and speaking out for those who don't have a voice, like Mother Nature. If we don't do anything, our lakes are going to suffer if they put pipelines and we just want to make a difference and you know let them know that we want to change and we want to protect our lands. Supporters of the movement say it's not too late for the Harper government to do what they consider to be the right thing and have a discussion. They say they were owed to begin with. Kyla Brozart, CTV News, Yorkton.